Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to a different type of video. I read over the patch notes and the gun changes and I thought this video had to be made because the developers of this game seem to be completely out of touch with the community and what they actually want. So, right off, we're going to go straight into the, like, the SMG changes. The SIG MPX! The, yeah, the SIG MPX has been changed. To what? It's getting a buff. What I mean by buff? The spread reduced while aiming has now been significantly decreased. The clip sizes went to 36, which was 32. And the ammo has increased to 180 instead of 160. What does this mean? A lot more one bursts. And you've got more ammo to ace the entire team. So, definitely a needed buff. The SIG MPX, in my opinion, was one of the worst SMGs in the entire game. Uh, just under the Uzi Pro. And... Yeah, the sarcasm is fucking great. Also, the gold version, the same thing, but instead of 36, it's now 40, and ammo is now 240. The next SMG that made has a change is the Micro Roni. Yeah, the RPM has been increased to 770 instead of 750, and the recoil is reduced when using the laser sight grips, which makes this gun, in my opinion, really good. Because the gun's already good. It's just going to be fucking disgusting now. Another change to an SMG, which you guys probably already knew of on the PC. But the damage has been increased on the HK MP5A5 Custom from 75 to 77. Damage multiplier to limbs has been increased also. So I think this is a good change because maybe we won't see all... Uzi Pros anymore, maybe some people will actually start using the HK MP5 A5, which is a good gun. The Varesque also got a buff. It now has 65 damage instead of 63. The clip size went up by two whole rounds, and the ammo size went up by 12. Damage multiplier to limbs increased, and the recoil is less. Here comes another one. Another good buff to a gun that didn't need any buffs. The Desert Tech MDRC, the damage multiplier to arms has been increased and the spread has been reduced while aiming and jumping. So that just means it's going to be even more destructive. It's going to be nowhere near the level of the SM, like the, <laughs> the SIG, but yeah, oh, buffing the SIG was like the stupidest thing you could have fucking done. Another change is the Magpul FMG9. The reason I'm mentioning the Magpul is because it's a gun I really want to get. Damage increased from 63 to 65, minimal spread reduced, and damage multiplier to legs increased. Same goes with the Golden Magpul, apart from just what it is. The Scar L has now got an increased headshot multiplier. The Teva CTAR 21 has 76 damage instead of 75. And that's all the SMG changes, which were definitely 100% needed, by the way. Fucking sarcasm. Alright, we're going to go on to assault rifle changes. The VHS-2, which by the way, in my opinion, is already one of the best assault rifles in the entire game for its abnormally long headshot one-hit range, and it's just fucking great. I love the gun. The damage multiplier to arms has been increased. It has less recoil, and less recoil and spread when using the grenade launcher, which no one uses, so that doesn't really give a shit. Alright, the FN Fal. The range has been increased to 17, was 16, and the recoil has been significantly reduced. Which is not really needed, but okay. Also, another change to a gun, the H-Car. Now has reduced recoil and it has better damage to limbs, even though it's a two-hit kill at any range anyway. I mean, nice. Alright, we're going to take a look at shotguns, to be fair. From what I've seen, not many shotguns have changed very much. The Cry Precision 612 RPM is now 190. The range is increased to 6, was 8 point, sorry, was 5.8. The Saiga HC Custom, recoil reduced, spread reduced. The Fostech has now had a damage increase to 620 instead of 610. The spread has been reduced while aiming. The Saiga Spike is, the RPM has been increased to 115, it was 110. Spread reduced while aiming with exception of sliding and jumping. The Marlin has a reduced spread while aiming and jumping now. The Saiga Bullpup, recoil reduced, and minimum spread reduced. Alright, we're going to look at sniper rifles because this is very important apparently. 
The Remington R11 RS ASS is minimum damage increased and the anti-cyborg Tarvis Star 21 now has 30 bullets instead of 20 and that's it basically. Pistols, the anti-cyborg FN57 now has 30 bullets instead of 20 and 120 ammo instead of 80. The Maxim 9 has now had its RPM increased to 290 which by the way the Maxim 9 in my opinion was one of the best like pistols in general. And the gold Maxim 9 has 300 RPM instead of 280. So, that's that. And my whole, like, opinion on this is they have no idea what they're doing. Like, everyone in the community always voices their opinions on why the game is failing and what it's doing wrong. And the devs literally just don't give a shit. I know me saying all this ain't gonna do shit, but seriously... The developers of this game for console as well, they immediately just give us the PC stuff, not like consoles, completely different. PC, rifleman's the meta, console, engineer, and sniper rifle mainly, because aim assist is so fucking overpowering. So, I think they really need to change how it is, get like a new community manager, but for the console version, because the community manager we have right now in Discord doesn't do jack shit. It's fucking useless. And I will always fucking stick to that. I don't care. Uh, they need to start taking advice from the console community. Otherwise, this game, which I've already said in the previous point, as soon as Crossfire X comes out, this game on Xbox is going to be fucking gone. Because that's just how it is. They don't care about the console updates for this game. As long as it's making them money, they don't give a shit. They're just going to keep giving us second-rate updates and not changing anything that needs to be changed. The SIG MPX, out of all of the guns in the entire game, needed a nerf, not a buff. It's the most overpowered weapon in the entire game. And buffing it just goes to show that you really don't care about the console community or what we ask. So, yeah. A few things to take away from this. Too long, didn't read. Uh, SIG MPX is now more broken. The community manager doesn't give a shit about console. And the devs don't either. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And I will see all of you in the next one.